this is Wake Angel 2001 with the finale of the World Collide Roboticized Master Series, Rouge Woman. Now, Rouge Woman is a character that appeared only in crowd shots towards the finale of the series, so there wasn't really a good glamour shot in the comic itself of her. Uh, but that's why it's good to electronically stalk your favorite comic artist, because I found this ref this um concept art of her on Ben Bates you um DeviantArt channel page. They're called pages on DeviantArt. So yeah, this is um Ben Bates, the creator of the Rouge Woman design, and uh, you know concept art. No better place to work from. All right, so let's get to making the toy itself. Uh, Rouge Woman, unlike Rouge the Bat. Uh, would not require any part swapping. She could just be made purely from a wave figure. Uh, this is one I happen to have in my fodder bin with a damaged arm. The thing on the left is the uh, remnant of a damaged arm from another figure. Um, here he, she is dismantled, and you can see I've already done all the modification I would need to do in terms of tooling. Her boots have been carved into a pointier shape, and I pulled her beak off so that I could get into painting her eyes and head a little better. In addition to removing her goggles and sanding away her feathers and bandana, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, then comes on the sculpting bits. Um, the head is where I began, as I usually do. And, uh, the, you know, it's, it's basically a robot master helmet. You make it, you, um, sculpt around the eyes and add those big old ear thingies. Of course, we all know that Rouge Woman has gigantic bat ears, and these are made out of craft foam. I decided to use craft foam because I could make it thinner, sharper, and, you know, hold the shape a lot better than anything I could possibly sculpt. Um, with her jaw reattached and everything painted up, it looks really good. And the flexibility of the craft foam actually serves um, a beneficial purpose because it means I don't have to worry about it clipping into her wings when I turn her head. There was always something funny I found about um, Ben Bates' design for Rouge Woman. It sort of looks like she's wearing an armored tube top. I mean, y you can kind of see it, right? I mean, um, it's, t it's totally an armored tube top. He even made sure to leave a little bit of cleavage on top for her. Um, and instead of being an entire um, chest plate like the, like the, um, the heart-shaped top normally is, it's just a little hard at the front of that tube top. If you didn't see notice in profile, I also sculpted up her butt a little bit because, well, you know, Rouge, Rouge has a bigger butt than Wave. Uh, can't really think of a tactful way to put that. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, Rouge's torso and body. Armored tube top. I think it looks funny. But very nice. After carving the feet into pointier toes, there wasn't that much modification I had to do to Wave's feet to turn them into Rouge's legs. Rouge woman's legs. Just gotta add those big old anklet things and a knee pad. The rest is a nice pink job. Uh, so yeah, um, the arms, uh, you gotta make them into those giant Popeye arms, like, um, like, you know, ro robot masters tend to have. Uh, in the concept art, Rouge Woman had, uh, one blaster arm, so I decided to give her a blaster arm for the figure. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that it, the figure I had was missing a hand. Seriously, I have like a dozen replacement hands, I don't, I could have given her two hands if I wanted to. Um... And the, the giant glove cuff that Wave comes with actually helps because it supports the internal structure of the, um, of the, the Popeye arm on her left arm. Actually, I think the wrist swivel even still works because, you know, there's just that much room. Her wings are also made out of craft foam. Uh, this way, when they, this, this also helps in that when I move the head around, those giant ears clipping into them, they simply bend out of each other's way so I don't have to worry about anything accidentally falling off. And that's cool. So let's reassemble the figure. Legs, torso, arms, head, wings, and there we go. Here's the completed Rouge Woman. Uh, I left just a little bit of purple on the on her arms, uh, you know, waves native purple, because it was a pretty good match for the joint purple in the concept art. Uh, sure, the elbow joints may look a little bit bigger, but hey, you know, it's an action figure. You got to take liberties to accommodate articulation. And I think she looks really good. Um, I, I love this thing. I think out of all the roboticized masters, she's probably my favorite. I, I love her design. She's just so fantastic. I love her little blaster arm. I love the I love the way the wings have more detail than Rouge is typically drawn in. 
Uh, ben Bates said that that was because Mega Man Robot Masters tend to be more detailed. And I just love it! Anyway, um, this series is now concluded. I had a ton of fun making these roboticized masters, and I want to thank all of you for keeping with me this whole time. Um, now, maybe I'll get off my butt and actually re finish reviewing the comic books. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001, signing off.